Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pedophilos of City Skylines Videos. Before I continue playing my Bedrock City, the city in which I plan to reach 1 million population, let me just take a moment and show you a new mod that I'm going to start using. It's called an extended building information mode. It displays level up requirements, uh, random buildings names and adds a company description to the building. Now the last two aren't that important but the first part is very important. It displays uh, the level up uh, requirements and the progress that you made towards that level up. So I will turn this mod on and see how uh, it's gonna uh, look in the game. So let's continue from the previous save. Here we are back in the old part of the city. It's interesting that it always loads up at the same spot. I wonder could that be changed that somehow. And here's how it works this mod. You can see here it shows me uh, how much uh, coverage do I have for uh, health. For fire, police, uh, this is very small at this resolution. Uh, this is dead kill, this is health, that was health here, this is dead care, this is uh, education perhaps, uh, this is police, this is how much the... I can't even read this, this is way too small. Well, uh, probably down to the resolution used, you can see here that the noise pollution is high, the abandonment problems are low, and the pollution problems are low as well. The service progress is shown here, so progress until next level combines four factors shown above 105 out of 30. But this is a specialized building, let's find one which is not. And let's try finding one which is not at level 3, so that we can see how it's gonna develop. Let's see this one. So it says that I have a lot of pollution here, no button problems, some noise problems. The fire uh, says 89% out of 500. Uh, I guess these are points. Uh, health says 53 out of 500. Then police. Uh, I guess that could be education maybe. Mm, this is dead care. This is transportation, I think. Uh, this is cargo, and this is pair something, not sure what. So this mod may require some additional work from the uh, guy making it to increase the font sizes of these things so I can actually read what it says here at uh, this font level. Well, it seems this mod will require some more work, so I will turn it off for now until the person developing it has a chance to update it and make it a little bit better. Alright, so I've turned on that mod for now as it has uh, much more to go and get better and improve before I can actually use it. This building is uh, abandoned due to uh, not enough workers, but it was a production building anyway, and I'm trying to get more of the buildings that are gonna just produce the raw resources, not process them, because you can see here that these buildings import, they actually import the agricultural goods, even though they're agriculture uh, processing buildings, and that ends up increasing my uh, amount of import and increases the traffic, which is something that I do not like. They also export. So that's also the part that's annoying. So what I would like the most is to have buildings that actually uh, do not import or export, just make goods that are then used for the uh, other kinds of industries. For example, here, the chain of industry seems to go uh, about like this. The generic industry imports uh, raw or, uh, or, or products and oil products to make goods that they can uh, send then uh, to the shops. But uh, as for the agriculture industry and the forestry industry, I haven't noticed them uh, just doing uh, the same thing and getting resources to another building. As far as I can see, the forestry industry can only export to the region. It doesn't really send anything to the uh, buildings that produce goods, nor does the agriculture industry do. So you can see that they export and they import, but I haven't noticed do they really send anything to the uh, goods producing industry. I mean we can try and follow some truck and see if it's gonna send something, but that's kind of a needle in the high stack, so I might not do that. Alright, so these buildings are gonna go abandoned unless they find enough workers. 
so this area may end up requiring some more high density buildings uh let's see just find a spot where i don't have too many let's say over here and i add a few more buildings of the high density kind for residential areas so that there will be more workers for these areas on this part of the city no problems with workers so just this part all right and uh, that has been handled the traffic here looks fine as it usually looks fine here but up here it's a bit more clogged up uh, you can see here a lot of teams coming through here and they try to get into this traffic and then they have a little bit of an issue going through here this is because most of my traffic that comes down from here uses the second and third lane because they have a long way to go before they even get to a street where they can enter so they are not going to be using the uh, most uh, right lane and few of them use the middle lane therefore they uh, do this and stop the traffic that's coming in from this lane to go here and uh, now i could uh, change it up and make it so that this uh, ramp goes from the right side into the street but it would create actually the same problem because then the guys that would come in from the right would lane change into the middle or the third lane and then they would again stop this traffic so it would kind of produce the same result just on with a different uh, road system now how about we find out why do they keep going through here all right so this guy is importing goods uh, why is a bus taking this line over here well if i look at my bus lines you can see that there is a, a bus line that's a, a bright blue a dark blue and a, a red bus line that are all taking this road through here and you can see it if i put my mouse on it it's gonna uh, stand out you see they uh, come out of this part of the city onto the highway and then through the highway they go in here and then enter this part of the city instead of exiting uh, starting from here exiting uh, up here to the highway then going this way then this way then down here then through here so even buses and bus lines you can force them to go through a certain area they will uh, choose the short pass, shorter uh, paths themselves now i could try for example seeing if i could like uh, make a bus uh, take the long way around for example if it starts off from here Maybe if I could uh, draw a station, let's say from here and force it to use this highway. But you see, you can't place a station onto the highway. Even if I were to try, I can't do that. I could, for example, place a station here into this street. But and then all I would do is force it to go into this part of the city. And from here, it would then, uh, let's zoom out it would then uh, just go out the highway through here but would that stop it from going up there through that part of the highway and yes it would it would not take the highway up there well uh, let's do that just because of how it's gonna go through here so station here and then i might as well put some more stations for it over here so that the teams can use it. Mm, nope, not what I meant. Not the green one, the red one. And this is a bit annoying when you have two lines going uh, through the same road. It's really hard to uh, pinpoint the uh, line that you want to make a station with. So now what I've done is to force the bus line to take this route and not go through here. But I still have a problem that two bus lines do take this route through here and through here there is a highway connection here where these trucks are turning so why don't they turn through here go all the way here to this connection come back through here and then enter here yet they take this route all the way on the outside and uh, let's see how is that unemployment at 3% how are these buildings down here 
almost all of them have employees that's good uh, did I get the area of high density here uh, they have developed yep this one's here and this one's here they will probably level up soon I have even more people there all right then uh, I might as well develop here let me just check the power definitely not gonna be enough so might as well turn on a few more of these Uh, the water I'm pretty sure I have enough I had upgraded my capacity some time ago so uh, the imports I am still importing a little bit of goods and I am exporting none which means that this part here that's uh, industry producing goods the generic industry can be upgraded uh, with another line if I want to have more commercial after it so three and up here is like four all right and then I will need some extra streets now that I have these extra streets I can start zoning first the commercial areas four by four one two three four well I can zone them where they want to be zoned and where there are hills there is nothing I can do about it Alright, so that would be the commercial area. After that goes the offices. But I already have filled up the need for industry quite a, uh, quite a lot. So what I may actually do is mix it up a little bit. So, um, But then again, if I just make a large area of residential here, it doesn't really matter just how much uh, offices and commercial areas I have here. So I might as well go full on commercial here. All right, and that's the offices. And then I can have the residential areas start building up after them. All right, so that should be a good expansion to the city. Uh, after the residential area, there should probably be maybe a little bit more offices than some more uh, commercial areas and then again uh, industry but this time it's probably gonna be some uh, forestry industry as I already have a lot of generic industry up here I could take a look at the districts mm, yep this one should be expanded for the industry this down here will be the new commercial and offices district And then the one after that is for the uh, residential area. As for the policies, uh, the public transportation that is free is across the city, a citywide policy. For this part, I need recycling and pet ban. For this part, I need raise taxes for offices and big business benefactor. The industry already has the industrial space planning and the uh, d smoke detector distribution. I'm not sure about the water. Uh, actually, I did make one already and I can just add one for the future. So this should develop nicely. The unemployment is still only at 3%, which means that there should be more teams uh, that want to move in and work in these areas. Up here, the pollution should stop before it reaches the residents, and it did. As for the noise, well, there is gonna be noise. It's almost ended before it reaches the residential areas, but there is still noise here. About the parks, now that I've remembered to uh, look, yep, definitely gonna need more park coverage here, so it would go here. like this and then on the edges I'm gonna need more parks let's go with the standard carousel and the bouncy castle because they fit the best on these edges one obviously over here
and that should provide the excellent coverage for leisure activities. Although here isn't the best coverage, I should probably add the park here as well. That should provide excellent coverage. And now that the parks on both sides start uh, connecting to each other, they're gonna give off even better coverage. So uh, when I look at it now, I might as well have gone with uh, park, 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 instead of park, 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 park. <laughs> I mean, uh, I could have had uh, a line of four parks interconnecting instead of uh, six parks like this, but it's still going to be all right and produce uh, good leisure activities coverage. Although this looks like a bad spot, it doesn't have the best coverage. Obviously, this park is uh, too far up, and these buildings have poor coverage as well. I guess that could be solved if I were to add a new park up here somewhere. Mm, but just where would I put it? There isn't really a park that is that small that could fit in these areas. And where is my... Huh, where's the Zen Garden? Interesting, I seem to have lost my Zen Garden for some reason. It used to be in the game, now I don't have it. Huh, not sure what, what the developers did with an update, but <laughs> the Zen Gardens are gone. Strange. Well, I guess nothing can be done about that. And for the park coverage, I'm not sure adding a park here would do much, but at least it would help a little bit. Let's try with something small here. Well, it definitely helped at least a little bit. It doesn't really have to be that perfect. How are we with this area? Oh, excellent! Everything has gone up, so I could add more residential areas if my unemployment is not too high, and it is not. So, a new area, 4x4, four four, can go up here. Excellent! We keep developing. Uh, and if I am adding a new residential area down here, I definitely will need a new school. Let's see if I can find a spot for it this one here, but that wouldn't give the best coverage for these buildings down here. So I guess I will add one uh, over here. Although it seems to give almost the same coverage, even less coverage actually. Oh right, because I do have a cross street going through here, which is something I haven't noticed uh, is a problem here. For example, this area here is huge and almost has no cross streets except for the uh, part here uh, that is made for the civil services so it has a few cross streets and you can see uh, the dead zones for uh, coverage for uh, elementary schools yet the building has everyone educated because they are well educated because the uh, street has coverage from the high school so you see you do not have to have perfect uh, coverage from each type of schools it's enough to have uh, coverage from uh, at least one type of schools. For example, then if I look here, I can see that the high school education has excellent coverage for these buildings, and these old areas uh, are getting better and better um, looking colors, which means that more and more of these people are educated. That's a lot of skulls. Mm, I do have a uh, crematorium here, but it does not seem to be able to pick everything up. Ah, look at this, just a little bit too small to take a cemetery, ah, damn it, actually, hmm, if this thing isn't used to plop anything, this could actually fit, nah, still not fitting, hmm, alright, how about I try... Let's see, if I were to put it like this, I could still have a cross street going through here. 
Ha! Huh. Excellent. Now, I know it may be uh, an overkill, but the uh, cemeteries are kind of a nice addition and make the cities look more realistic. You can't really have a city <laughs> just with crematoriums. It would be a little bit creepy in the real world, so it's not really a bad idea to have a few cemeteries here and there. And it should help with all of these uh, skulls here that seem to represent dead bodies not being picked up. So how's the new line of residential areas already building up? Excellent. This is a lot of industry of that is requiring more workers. So I hope that these things will get filled up very soon and I will add even more. As I obviously need more workers. And as this area expands, uh, I'll see whether or not uh, I want to add a street here already. As I said, there are uh, very few cross streets and that can be a problem. I mean, the traffic does not look that bad in these cross streets here, even though there are so few of them. So it might actually be okay to not have too many. But I would just have to be careful not to uh, build a too big of a zone. For example, I could have like one more zone of residential, then uh, one zone of offices, one zone of high density, and one forestry zone. So that would be like four more zones here. It would be up to here, and the street catches here. So it's going to be a huge zone, but that's about uh, as big as I want to make them. Uh, still requiring more workers, unemployment at 3%. Uh, uh, like I said in my previous video, and I even posted this on the official forums, they could really use an uh, overview that shows you uh, which of these uh, teams uh, are employed and which are not. So you could see actually uh, which area has unemployment and which one does not. For example, you can see uh, the colors show you where families live, where seniors live, where adults live. Uh, it would be cool to have another overview here saying un uh, employment and you could see employed unemployed per building and see if there is a large amount of unemployed unemployed people in some area and then you would know whether to uh, bulldoze those buildings and move the people to live somewhere else where there are jobs or simply add more jobs close to those areas. I always forget to play at a higher speed uh, I will try to remember as I do like to advance slowly but I know that you guys do not have infinite time to keep watching the city grow a few thousand population per uh, each widow but that's just me and how I play uh, slow and steady and I do like to uh, try and get the best traffic and services for each area of the city as I build it up now this looks interesting this area is covered uh, by the uh, police headquarters that's down here and the buildings are way uh, brighter than the buildings here that are covered just by the police station. So it may actually be a good idea to build a police station here as well. Now just uh, there won't be any room here uh, or perhaps there will be police station could fit here a bit uh, or could it yeah I could fit it here but I'm thinking maybe I want it to be a bit further down so for example I will get a cross street here and build it here Now they should become far brighter and match this area. Let's see how that goes. Yep, they are getting brighter and brighter. Excellent, so that's going to do the trick. Uh, what's with the abandonment issues? Probably not enough workers again. Yeah. The teams are not moving in as fast as the industry needs them to move in. Still more buildings going abandoned due to not enough workers. Hopefully this will fill up with new workers and it is filling up rather nicely so that was one two three four I did say I would add 
this uh, fourth level of residential buildings, fourth zone. After which I can go with a new office zones. And after the office zones goes the commercial zones. Now am I going to need new parks here? Not yet. And I could use a new pathway here to connect these areas. So let's see. Okay, finally got it over properly and I'll connect here. Now we are in business and over here everything went up so we can have forestry industry here just need to add some more trees make a district oops that's too big uh, actually should first expand the residential district make a new commercial and offices district and then make this an industry district forestry industry of course there we go uh, done and here policies for big business and tax rates for offices there is water coverage here and now just to put this one line of forestry industry here And I'm gonna need a road to go into here from the highway. Like so. And then an exit here. Like this. And then a road to connect the two. Alright, that's settled. How's my employment at 3%? So if I want more workers, I will have to expand down here quickly after the industry this is whoops not a new district this needs to expand as the forestry all right after the forestry industry goes more commercial areas after that more offices and then i can have more residential zones Alright, uh, new expansion coming up right now. Uh, it should have all the services covering this area. Down here I will finally need a new elementary school as I do not have one right now. And as for parks, I may need a new park to show up here. Well, not in the middle, but on the sides, that's for sure. That should provide good coverage with the parks. Oops, I almost forgot. I need more water coverage here if I want to expand my zones. How's my power situation? 708 megawatts out of 761. It was obvious that the last time I turned on uh, the extra wind turbines, it was actually just a problem with the incinerators not producing enough at that moment. Now I have more power than I need, but I'm not going to turn off any advanced wind turbines if the power from the incinerators goes down again. Now I should expand the bus lines. So now this bus line covers this area as well and the blue one should have a few connections down there as well. If I could just get a station to show up here. There we go. Uh, more bus lines. As for the metro, there is a connection here and here, and there are going to be more connections down here. I'm just not sure about adding any more inside of these areas. Definitely need more workers, and more and more and more. So I might as well start uh, developing more areas here of the low density areas 
to go to high density. All right, that should take care of the uh, extra workers that are necessary, at least I hope so. What's with the abandonment issues? Uh, nobody collecting the dead people. Yeah, I was afraid this is gonna start popping up again. More and more corpses, but the hearses uh, keep getting stuck in their long commutes and the dead people just don't get picked up. Yeah, so many skulls, uh, then more uh, places burning down. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a team now as uh, more and more uh, surface area is there for service vehicles to go through they're gonna keep getting stuck in their long loops and not go to the places that need to be uh, fixed by their service i have a feeling uh, this could become a large issue and i'm not sure what the solution is because just adding more and more service vehicles will just end up clogging the roads even further Although uh, this may be due to the fact that I develop so slowly and I do have a lot of seniors, uh, 20%. So there is a lot of dead people uh, at the same time. It could be attributed to that. I'm not entirely sure, but I have a feeling that could be it. So I will just weather the storm of dead people and wait for it to pass. The trash though seems to be uh, piling up as well. Well the traffic isn't that bad for so many problems to pop up at the same time. Wow. Wow that's a lot of dead people. Hmm. What is... Wait a minute, did I say the traffic was not bad? What in the world is this? What the heck are they doing here? How did they manage to... Bloody hell, what are you doing? Tourist, garbage truck, van, van, home goods, hearse. No wonder I have a problem with service vehicles. What are they doing going through here? Well, now I get it why there is a problem with uh, services. <sighs> All right, uh, buy this plot of land. Highway ramps. And while the traffic is sorting itself out, uh, I might as well go into bulldozing mode. Probably gonna have a lot more to bulldoze until this is over. This is really a farce, the way that they are using my road systems. This can turn into a big problem if they keep doing this. This is so stupefying. Look at this. Why? Why or oh why do you go through there when you have a connection here? I would definitely need to redo this. Uh, I mean, I cannot force them to use those roads. I can just make it impossible for them to use the other ones. However stupid that may sound. And congratulations, Metropolis unlocked the airport and the planes and I can buy even a new area. Well, as I do obviously have a lot of problems to sort out, that will take a while to sort out. 
I might as well stop this video here and play around until I can figure out what to do next here. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos.